CKMO FM 82.3 in Montreal, 7.30 on a sunny, sunny Tuesday morning. Boy, is it beautiful out there. What a shame we've got to work. Yeah, tell me about it, Patty. All right, let's go up to Rick for a traffic report. If you're trying to come in from the South Shore, that's a bit of a chore right now. Traffic's backed up on all bridge approaches. At the Victoria Bridge, it's especially bad. Avoid the Victoria if you can. If you're in it, I'm afraid there's not much you can do. You're looking at least at a 15 to 20 minute delay. Okay, thanks, Rick. Ask me why I never take the Victoria Bridge. Oh, now, Terry, don't knock it. It used to be called the eighth wonder of the world, a marvel of modern engineering. What, Victoria Bridge? Well, yeah, it was the longest bridge anywhere when it was built. You're kidding. When was that? In the 1850s. 1850s? You mean the bridge is that old? Well, the stone piers are, but the top part's been changed. Originally, it was a tube, and it was just for trains. A tube? What do you mean a tube? Well, it was a big square tube made of cast iron, and the train traveled inside it, and it was pitch black in there, kind of like a tunnel, and you were in there for about six minutes. Six minutes? minutes. Yeah, now get this, there were no holes for the smoke to get out, and people almost choked to death. That's charming. Was that in first or second class? <laughs> Look, it was better than no bridge at all. Before they built it, you had to take a boat to cross the St. Lawrence. Sounds romantic. Not if you're a tradesman. You had to get your goods across the river on rafts or barges. Bet you a lot of people wish they had a raft sometimes. It'd be quicker. Not in winter, it wouldn't. Uh, no, I guess not. Well, how about a sleigh ride across? Ah, uh, but that could get pretty risky, especially when the ice broke up. But Patty, a tube? Why a tube? Well, 250 feet between piers was a big distance before they had steel. Making it tube-shaped made it stronger. How do you know all this? Ah, uh, Miss Wimple, my history teacher in high school. <clears throat> the Victoria Bridge, built by the Grand Trunk Railway Company, connected the island of Montreal with the rest of North America and was thus a major factor in the city's economic development in the latter half of the 19th century. Unbelievable. <laughs>
Well, if you've just tuned in, Patty and I have been playing Victoria Bridge Trivia here. But don't run out to your local gift shop to buy the board game. It's not out yet. Don't laugh. Rumor has it they're making a film about it. You mean they're not making a miniseries? Not yet. Who's going to play the bridge? I knew you'd be interested, Terry, but the part has already been cast. Oh. Maybe there's a supporting role for you. I'm not sure I could take the pressure. Oh, brother. Maybe we should just play some music. Oh, here. no, wait, wait. One last thing. You know Stevenson, one of the guys who designed the original bridge? What about him? His father built one of the first steam locomotives in England. Really? Do you know what it was called? It was called the Rocket. Now, who told you that? I guess Miss Wimple must have told me. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Things are looking pretty good from up here right now. Even the Victoria Bridge is turned up, and that's a wonder. It's smooth sailing all the way across.